Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right. So this is going to be a, a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading for July 8th to uh, July 14th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump uh, directly into, uh, into the reading itself. Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Sagittarius, uh, this is going to be uh, the Knight of Swords, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you will have to face here throughout the week, guys, that will be the Moon card. The third one which uh, stands for the positive aspect of the week, that will be uh, the Five of Cups. And the last one, which regards to the guidance that you should uh, follow, or rather like the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Sagittarius, that will be the temperance and pretty, uh, pretty interesting week it is what we have for you uh, with these cards. So, <clears throat> first thing that comes to, uh, to mind here is the Moon card and the Five of Cups, all right? So, let's go first uh, once again through the cards, all right? The first one that will be the uh, Knight of Swords, which is the topic followed by the challenges here with the moon card. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect that will be the five of cups. And then the last one, which stands for guidance, that will be the temperance. All right, so uh, my point here was that we do have the moon card and the five of cups occupying positions. And these couple of cards, they always stand for that. Um, you should not give up. All right. Like, simply put, this is what they always stand for even though situation the situation may not be as as you would like to be you shouldn't give up and on top of that as a uh, guidance card as we do have the temperance the temperance is always about a, a, a compromises all right and about a adopting a middle ground um <clears throat> having um Honoring other people's opinion as well, showing compassion, showing solidarity and these kind of stuff. So um, I do believe by looking at these cards, especially as we do have a person involved here with the Knight of Swords, is that this week that person Knight of Swords is going to, uh, I would say, either open your eyes or is going to uh, prevent a, a very wrong move that you can do or rather like is going to open your eyes for a, a wrong move that you are doing and you will have to go back a couple of steps you know retract a little bit to fix all that that you are doing wrong either career wise or either relationship wise so the first card here which is the knight of swords that is a person just like i said not not necessarily have to be a man all right it could be as well a woman but the thing is that this is a, a very courageous person someone who uh, possess um, a determination and power as well it has that really flexible and agile mind and it is uh, capable to to uh, penetrate true mists, mists of, of, of uh, vagueness into, uh, into the situation. And uh, 
this person, uh, uh, the way I suspect is going to play out is that they will not going to be afraid to call you out, okay? Because they do possess that um, determination, that basically courage, excuse me, and as well power. They are going to call you out for a, a thing that you are not performing as it just the best way that you can perform, make you realize that, and that will allow you to retrace back, right? To retrace your steps and this time around perform um, in a way that you are kind of like, in a way that you are gonna get the things done, okay? Um, and also that person have a readiness for action, which means that they're also willing to to help you with it, okay? It's not like that they're gonna that they're gonna be the one who who only have an opinion, okay? But they will also be able to support that opinion with uh, with actions. The accompanied card here is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. So the formation it is a active enemies that we do have, and we are definitely talking about retracing steps here. This as an uh, the Nine of Pentacles as an active enemy to the uh, Knight of Swords. It's pretty much points that the conquest and the um, yeah, the conquest and the leap into either career or love endeavors. It is not exactly the leap that you are taking right now. And this person, Knight of Swords, has better idea, all right, how you can be more successful in either of those fields. So uh, the challenge itself here, which this week is going to be provoked, uh, the for you to experience is going to be the moon card. So moon card tells us a couple of things. First of all, it tells us that you are going to face what the Knight of Swords is going to divulge as an information to you, rather quite skeptical. For the reason being is that you haven't thought of it beforehand and therefore you're feeling very insecure, you know, retracing back and trying things from a different angle. And uh, that whole thing is going to I don't know how to how to say it in English, but let's say it's going to weaken the foundation of your belief that actually you can pull the thing through, all right? But once again, the moon card, it is a card pointing that you should not deviate from the path that you have chosen, meaning from the goal that you have chosen. And that will be a challenge to um, believe that even though with different means in different manners and different approach, the goal can be uh, can be reached. The accompanied card here is going to be the judgment, the justice, excuse me. So the formation that these cards form is passive neutrals. <clears throat> OK, and uh, with uh, with the justice here, the card, these cards are pointing that there could there are to be a lot of uh, peripheral how do I say it? Undertakings that first needs to be cleared out. It's kind of like uh, placing down the, uh, um, fertilizing the soil before you can actually reap, uh, plant your seeds and reap the fruits of your labor. Okay, so we're talking about a preparation and carefully arranging a priorities for yourself, priorities and undertaking switch to be first so you don't overwhelm yourself and as well you can achieve maximum success out of those uh, out of those undertakings. I do believe that we're talking more about here a career and for unfoldment rather than a, a relationship performance. <clears throat> but in either case, uh, you Sagittarius needs to uh, need need to recognize, okay, that there is more than one way how you can take on a specific situation. And the way that you start it is not necessarily the one that is the best. And this person is going to pretty much prove you that. And on top of it, that there could be, there should be beforehand a, a preparation before one should jump into a, um, into a endeavors or sorting out the prime endeavors here. So the um, positive aspect of the week is going to be the five of cups. So five of cups here, um, <clears throat> it's first of all, it's putting blockage on a, a state of desperation. So even though you have lost a, a significant advance, as you have to retrace back your steps, all right, that will not be a prerequisite for you to fall into despair and to believe uh, for the ultimate 
doom and gloom. Yeah, you may have it hard to believe that things can be pulled through from a different angle, but in the same time, uh, you know, you uh, you are to refuse to believe that this is the the, the, the grand loss. Okay, so instead, what you, what happens here with the five of cups is that you are going to take it more as a a partial either loss of time or either loss of resources as well. But that will leave you with enough for you to have a second go, to have another try, and to make the things right right this time around. So that could be a, a different approach upon one marriage, it could be a different approach upon one relationship or um, commiseration with a specific person that you want to be with, all right, or a different approach into a, a one project. But uh, for example, here, it could be that you're uh, that you're trying to mesmerize or rather like and throw a specific suite uh, and things are not working out uh, at all. So a mutual friend of yours divulging to you on information, what that person likes, how they like it and etc, etc. So that makes you retrace back and kind of like create a new plan or rather like yeah, a new system of executions which you will have to perform in order to traverse the opinion of the one you want to be with to be in your favor. The accompanied card here is going to be the Ten of Swords formation. It is a, a passive neutrals. So uh, <laughs> Ten of Swords here uh, points that you don't have to, uh, it's difficult to explain with the Five of Cups, all right? So, uh, and especially as a positive aspect, it is that even though you are abandoning certain position, means and resources, those resources, means and positions can be put to work toward another different project or another different endeavor. So in reality, you have to look at that way. You don't lose anything. It is just, you know, you are redirecting resources from one field to another. Uh, for example, <clears throat> You are in a marriage, let's say, and you want on a you want to go on a vacation because right now it's the summer season, so everybody is going on a vacation. And this is why I'm giving you this uh, this example. And you plan a vacation to to go to Hawaii, all right? But uh, suddenly uh, it turns out that your wife is putting quite a resistance to go to the Hawaii, so you will have to redirect that time you invested to plan and to book tickets and to book uh, hot hotels as well into Hawaii. You have to retrace back that thing and start planning to go, I don't know, into Maldives, for example, all right? But with the Ten of Swords here to the Five of Cups, it seems that the, more, that the major portion of those money you spent to book are going to be refunded and you can use them, you can redirect them either into going into the Maldives or doing something different with them. So in reality, you aren't going to lose a that significant portion of resources that you have invested thus far <clears throat> into your endeavor. And the last one is going to be uh, the uh, temperance card, which is the guidance here. And so I pretty much said it at the start of the reading, the temperance urges you to adopt the middle ground, the middle way, the middle way, do not take any extreme standpoints, for example, being stubborn or going on a vacation to Hawaii, but be all, but be all more open to uh, explore and talk about different options available. Additionally to that, the temperance here point that you need to honor the other points of view upon the situation as well, even though it may not be uh, um, Pretty much, uh, they, they may not be appealing to you, they, you may not agree with them, but that doesn't mean that you have to mock upon them and completely disregard them as well, right? And finally, the temperance here, not finally, but next thing is that the temperance here, it is pointing that um, you need to show solidarity, compassion and understanding into other human nature. So if that is about your marriage, you need to show understanding into your husband or wife human nature. Or if this is about work, uh, you will also need to show understanding into your colleagues and bosses nature, meaning what they're uh, going for, you know, where they're coming from with what they're going for and so on and so forth. And lastly, the temperance here points that it will be a, a fantastic week where you can take good care of your health, like starting diets, working out, and uh, these kind of stuff. 
the accompanied card here is going to be the two of wands so the foundation uh, the formation excuse me it is a passive it is a active supporters and that is another confirmation that you can redirect those resources which you need to withdraw or trace back or i retrace into a future goals and, and, and kind of like future challenges, you know, future conquests that you are yet to plan. So in reality, it, it, I mean, it looks like you are going to lose some precious time, you know, and some precious, for example, fundings, money, positions. But in reality, those um, what you what seemingly you're losing right now uh, is yours to implicate into a future endeavors. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 8th to July 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.